Aaron Bobachet clearly gave you guys some trouble today. What made him such a difficult out? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the first one, uh, you know, it looked like Corey tried to get a two seamer into the corner, didn't quite get it there, and it probably didn't quite have the movement quality and and put a really good inside out swing. And at the time, I think the wind was kind of kind of hit it in that tunnel um, where the where the wind kind of later shifted. So, um, yeah, uh, obviously had a hard time containing him today and, and, and he got us there in the end. What did you think of Kluber overall? Kluber, I, I still think's close. Um, I thought the stuff was fine. Um, you know, you know, obviously I had to work pretty hard, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of pitches kind of each inning, um, that drove them up a little bit. Um, you know, had, had to Les there. Oh, two to start that inning and, uh, change up that wasn't an awful pitch. Looked like it was probably off the plate away, but elevated enough. And, and Telez put a good swing on it to get things started. Then he hung, hung a breaking ball to Kirk. Um, you know, but otherwise, um, you know, made some pitches to get out of a to get out of a jam there in his last inning. Um, so I feel like he's he's continuing to get get close to where he needs to be. And and when you think of Corey at his best, it's it's movement and precision, and you know just get into that final over that final hump but getting real precise just two and four on the road trip what can you do to try to get this team back on track well we got it we got to play better obviously in every area you know there's some, you know some some mistakes we're making um you know obviously the pen has has done a really nice job for us um <clears throat> you know we w when you're not banging you, you got to do little things really well and you know that's catch the ball run the bases um we know eventually we are gonna we are gonna start banging. Um, you know, I have a ton of confidence in our guys and can't wait to see them turn the corner. But in the meantime, you know, especially when you're in these dog fights where you're not breaking breaking games open, uh, you gotta play real clean. Eric Bowen, you have the next question. Aaron, I know we've asked you about this a bunch, but how much of a tightrope are you guys walking, constantly having to dip into your bullpen early in games like this? Yeah, um, you know, okay, we're doing okay because we've been able to protect them. We haven't pitched anyone when we haven't wanted to. You know, we've, we've stayed away, and, you know, when they've gone multiple innings, given them a couple days off. Um, you know, the, the off days, which, you know, I think, you know, obviously weather related, but also because you're building up starting pitching, you have the more off days than usual in the month of April that help you out a little bit. So, um, you know, I feel like we've been able to, and because our entire pen has played a role, you know, we've, we've had to lean on all of those guys kind of equally. So they've kind of shared the load down there a little bit. So I don't feel like we've, we've had to use anyone unnecessarily, um, but as you go and you start getting later in the month and you start getting into the into May and the summer months, that's when that's when you really got to lean on the starting pitcher 